Hey, hey, good people. Arthur Moore is here. I hope all is well. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at factoring out a binomial from a polynomial uh, using the greatest common factor factoring. So um, this time, our greatest common factor will be a, a binomial. So if we, let me look at show you the, the two distinct terms. That's a term, and then that's a term there. So uh, if we look at those two terms, we see that they both have the w plus 2 in common. So that's what we're going to factor out is the w plus 2. And it tells us to rewrite the expression by factoring out w plus 2. So I'm going to take the w plus 2, write it outside a set of parentheses, and then we're essentially dividing each one of these terms by w plus 2. Again, this could be a mental step if you choose. You don't have to write this out. But when I divide uh, each one of those by W plus 2, then the W plus 2s will cancel out. And you see that I have 3W squared plus 5 left over. That's what would go in the other set of the parentheses. And those can be those binomials can be written in any order. So you could also write that as three w squared plus five times w plus two. So either one of those would be correct. And remember, we can change the order of multiplication because of the commutative property. Okay, and that's all for that one. Let's look at another one. All right, so with this one, it says to rewrite the expression by factoring out u minus 3. So we have 7u squared times u minus 3 plus 2 times u minus 3. So the common binomial for those two terms is u minus 3. And if I divide by u minus 3, let's see what we have left over to go in the other set of the parentheses. Okay, so the u minus 3s will cancel, and you see that we have 7u squared plus 2 remaining, and they go together in the other set of parentheses. All right, let's try one more. And you may want to pause the video to see if you can figure this one out. All right, so we want to rewrite the expression by factoring out 5u plus 2. So again, we look here, we have 5u plus 2 and 5u plus 2. That is my common uh, binomial here, so I'm going to factor that out. And if I divide by 5u plus 2, then I see that the 5u plus 2's cancel out. All right, so I see I have 6u left, but I don't have anything left over here to the right. Now remember, uh, it's always, if you don't see anything inside of, outside of parentheses, it's understood to be 1. Also, anything divided by itself is 1. So that's understood to be a 1 there. So that will give me 6u plus 1. Alrighty, good people. Hope you found this video to be helpful. I will see you on the next one. Thank you.